click in the menu bar over here on assignments. As that loads, you'll have the ability to have the content right here. This would be a report on what's happening so far. It's blank right now because uh, there's no, there haven't been any assignments in 30 days. So it's blank. Let's click add an assignment. Oh, this class right here. This would be if you have multiple um, classes like I have, you'll have multiple classes rostered to you. So you'd have to choose which one you want. Um, so I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to click add assignment. We're going to choose math. Currently, BCSD only has a subscription to Freckle Math. Um, there's some basic things you can do in other topics, but you're limited to what you can do on the assignment level. So there's different things you can do. You can do an adaptive practice where uh, students start off by taking a test of questions and seeing how well versed they are in the standards. And then the platform will adjust to them and take them on a path to learn that subject. Fact practice is just your fact fluency. They have a grid of problems that they solve and they earn coins to be able to purchase outfits for a pig or other characters as they go. Number facts is basic for early learners, just number fluency, that kind of thing. Targeted practice assessment is very useful. It's when you want to assess them on one specific standard. Then you have a benchmark assessment, which I won't get into detail here, but, but that's just the ability to um, do an assessment. Now we have inquiry-based lesson down here, which is very useful if you're going to um, sort of walk students through how to do some of these more difficult um, math task situations. So uh, this would be something that you would definitely want to do some teaching and not just let the students do on their own because they would probably get a little bit frustrated because it's some advanced thinking and some, um, yeah. So we're going to go for targeted practice assignment. That's what um, the majority of the assignments that I've done in Freckle have been that. So I'm gonna click on that. All right, so now I get to choose my students right here, right? I have, I can select all of them, I can select none of them, I can choose specific ones. So if I recognize that one of them needs um, practice in a certain area, then I can give them a, a differentiated assignment. So I'm gonna just choose all of them. Down here, I have the ability to search all of my standards or pick the basic root of that item. So if I want to work on fractions, I can click on fractions, third through fifth, and then it will write down here, show me all of the standards third through fifth grade related to fractions. So what is a fraction, units, fractions on a number line. Uh, I think for starting off with fractions, this is a great one to practice. So if I click on that, it'll give me the standard right here. And then I can click on this and see an example of the question. So there'll be a multiple choice question that will have the ability to click on a fraction that represents um, each segment. There'll be an open answer question, similar type of question where the students will have to click and type. There'll be a multiple answer question where they have to select A or A and B or A and B and C, those kinds of things. Also will be an open answer question, a multiple answer question where they click on the line, all those kinds of things up there. So I like that. Now I'm gonna select the skill as you can see, if there are lots of skills in a standard, this will be very long, or I can choose just one of them. If I want them to understand the fraction of the number line, I'm going to choose that. If I want them to represent it, I can just choose that, or I can collect, select all skills. If I see example questions, it's going to be the same questions that it had before. If I change that, those example questions will change. Now I can do a mini ticket of three questions, an exit ticket of five questions, or a regular practice of 10 questions. Um, exit ticket is generally fine unless it's something you really want your students to practice over and over again. I can click on assign immediately, or I can plan out my week or my month and assign things off into the future. I'm going to just show you what the assign for the future button would do. I would have to select a start date. 
So if I wanted it to start on June 20, let's have it start on July 20th. And I would click on create assignment and the student wouldn't be advised of that assignment until July 20th. I'm going to assign immediately. Now, this is a great option for you here. You can push straight into your Google Classroom, which will create an assignment. Um, you can customize this title by clicking on Customize Title. You can change it to whatever you want to fit in your organization and your naming practices for your Google Classroom. You can copy this link right here. If you click on this, it'll say Link Copied right there. And what that is, allows you to do is take that link, you can paste it into an email or into Google Classroom or other locations if you want someone to access it. You can also post straight into Google Classroom, which will open a new window, go to your Google Classroom, pick a classroom you want to share it with. It'll give you the instructions that you want. It'll give them the link straight in there. Um, we'll have to teach students how to log in through Clever, which I'll provide a video for that. Make it a point date, give it a due date, so let's have it due tomorrow by 4 p.m. And now students have that assignment in Google Classroom, just as easy as that.